Hi, everyone. Welcome to Kiki and Kibitz. It's Mary, and I'm here with my Prison Brides, Season 1, Episode 6, Baby Steps, Recap. So let's hop right into it, guys, because I have so many feelings about this episode, okay? So first, we start off with Savea and Joseph. Now, I like Savea in the beginning, and I had high hopes for these two, but I feel like their relationship is going to implode any second, and we're just going to sit back and watch the shit show. Honestly, that's my opinion at this point. I mean, we're already on um, episode six. I'm sure we're more than halfway through the season. So that is my gut feeling about this couple. It's going to implode any second. And we're just going to sit back with our popcorn. So on this episode, okay, it's been three months since they've seen each other. And they are missing each other like you would not believe, okay? And she's flying in to see him. He is so excited. But he's still living in the basement. Okay, it's been three months. He got a job, but he's still living in the basement. And um, like Savea says, she's not a basement type chick. But the one thing that I don't get about Savea, okay, she talks about her, um, what's the word that I'm looking for? She has standards, okay? She has certain standards for her man and for a relationship. And and not to demean Joseph, but I mean, she even said out of her own mouth, the last episode, her typical guy is like a business minded businessman that has money. And um, what were you doing on a prison pen pal site? And I mean, I get it. She wants to be his driving force, but I think that, you know, her standards and her expectations are up here. And this is why this relationship is going to implode in front of our very eyes. But she gets there. They're so happy to be reunited after three long months of not seeing each other. She's not crazy about going in the basement. And um, she starts pushing the um, Joseph, you need to get an apartment ASAP agenda immediately. OK, she's like, listen, he has a job. There is no reason why he cannot afford his own apartment. I can't be with no man that doesn't have any goals. So let me light the fire under his ass and get him apartment hunting. So it's his birthday. OK, so she decides she's going to book an art class for them. And unknowingly. She opened up a can of worms with the art class, okay? Now, Joseph, he says two things got him through prison. Savea and his art, okay? And check out some of his prison art. Joseph is really into um, abstract, you know, art. And this um, painting class that Savea booked for them for his birthday, kind of opened up a can of worms because while he was there, you know, throwing paint on canvas and doing whatever, you know, the artistic side of him was flowing and he got this fantastic idea. He's going to quit his job and pursue art full time. I'm, I'm surprised that Savea's head didn't like spin around. And she was like, what? No, 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 no. This is not a good idea. But he thinks, you know, this is the right time to pursue this passion. And he can't work a full-time job 10 hours a day and do artwork. You know, there's simply not enough hours in the day. So let's quit the full-time job and pursue my passion full-time. And Savea's like, um, pursuing your passion is not going to pay the bills. But he has it stuck in his head, okay, that he wants to pursue art full time. And I'm like, dude, you are ruining this nice dinner, okay? They're sitting at this great dinner. He's having surf and turf. She's having steak. The food looks delicious. My mouth is watering. And he decided that, you know, I'm just going to drop the bomb and announce that I'm going to quit my job. And Savea's like, what the hell? No, no, this is not a good idea. But 
He got to try some oysters he didn't like. The surf and turf was good, but I say that um he kind of ruined the dinner. So she decides she's going to take him apartment hunting. Okay. And um yeah, she decides she's going to take him apartment hunting. And the first apartment they see, Savia's like, I like this. You know, I could totally deal with this. It has a real kitchen. It it has, you know, it's a real apartment. I can deal with this. How much is the rent? Fifteen hundred a month. And that's when Joseph realized he needs a real job to survive out of the real world. You know, painting is really cool. He's really passionate about the whole thing. But maybe, like his cousin said, take baby steps, dude. Okay? Like, I get it. You want to pursue your art. You have a passion for it. You're great at it. But, dude, look at this apartment. If you want an apartment like this, you're going to have to keep your day job for a while. And Joseph agrees. And Savea's like, whew, thank God goodness so that was joseph and surveyor this week and i'm telling you guys i feel it in my gut this shit's gonna implode implode everywhere okay next gabriella and jamal gabriella she's another um Andrea when it comes to her family she is blunt okay she's like listen i'm engaged to a prisoner in the States and I'm going to marry him and I'm going to live in the States and that's it. And her family is like, what the fuck? Are you kidding me? Don't you think maybe you should slow down a little bit, get to know him a little better? I mean, Gabriella's sister was basically begging her, okay? Like, please, why are you doing this? You're beautiful. You could find a, a, a man here. Like, I could find you a man. Anything. Mom has been crying for three days about this. And Gabriella's basically like, I don't care. I love Jamal. That's it. And I am going to do this. And if you're not on my team, I don't need you. Okay? So now... Her sister thinks that she's being a little bit too much about her ego, okay? And not thinking about the rest of the family. And you know something? I agree with her, okay? Because I think, you know, she needs to think about how her actions are affecting her other family members as well, in my opinion, okay? So now she's packing for the trip. She is so nervous. She's anxious, she's excited, she has all the feelings. She is pissed off at her family because she's like, I always care about their feelings and they couldn't give a shit about my feelings when it comes to this. Like, I have to listen to them. Oh, mom's been crying, you know, get the guilt trips, but they don't care about me. And I get her side too, but Gabriella. You also have to see that this is a um extraordinary circumstance, okay? So I'm on your family side when it comes to this battle. So she calls her sister as she's packing and her sister's like, hi, how are you? Are you having cold feet by any chance? And Gabriella's like, no cold feet here, honey. I'm packing, I'm getting ready to go. And her sister's like, one last pitch. One last plea, please just wait a little bit. Can you just wait just a little bit? I mean, do you have to do this right now? And Gabriella's like, I don't like these vibes. I don't like getting married with these vibes around me. I'm getting married. That's it. You guys better accept it. If you don't, goodbye. And the conversation with her sister is over. And I'm like, whoa. <sighs> So we shall see what happens. Next, my favorite couple, Jessica and Craig. Okay. Um, Craig has been home for a week and they do date night. And he is overwhelmed by all the choices. He doesn't know how to hold his chopsticks. Dumplings taste like egg rolls to him. It was a cute scene. Okay. So now he feels like he went from nothing to having it all, including a truck. 
and he's feeling really, really accomplished. And the cherry on top would be a baby. Okay. Now, mind you, he, he's been home for not a long time, but he swears, okay, that they're going to have a baby soon. Jessica's going to be pregnant soon, okay? So now, Jessica hasn't been feeling well lately, okay? She has type 1 diabetes, and honestly, she just kind of wants to slow down on the baby-making bit, because the type 1 diabetes will make her a high-risk pregnancy, okay? But now, she hasn't been feeling well. Her sugars are all over the place. And Clark is like, do you think it's because you're pregnant? And she's like, dude, you've been home for like six weeks, okay? I, I, don't, I, I don't know. So he's like, let me run out. Let me get some pregnancy tests. And she's like, do you think it's even possible that it'll show up on the pregnancy test? I mean, it... It's been, you know, a short period of time that you've been home. Okay. He runs out. He gets the test. And he gets some scratch-off lottery tickets. Okay. He says, hey, maybe I'll hit the lottery twice. So Jessica goes into the bathroom to pee on the stick. And he's sitting there crossing off a um, cash word lottery ticket. And the, bonus, and the bonus word, okay, on the ticket was child. And he's like, holy shit, look at this. And at that very moment, Jessica comes out with a positive pregnancy test. And he is like, holy shit, if this wasn't meant to be, this is so meant to be. Honey, look at this. Look at what my bonus word on this lottery ticket was. And they are just so excited. They are having a baby. Craig has super sperm. He got her pregnant that first time and he is so proud of himself and jessica says you know to be honest the thought of craig reoffending does cross my mind every now and then but now with this baby i hope this just adds on another incentive for him to keep going down on the straight path and you know something i love this couple and i can't wait to see the rest of their journey now we have Aaron and Michael. And Aaron, even after learning that you left your child and came to the States to pursue a relationship with a felon that you didn't know, that you started your relationship while he was in jail, you know, I tried to give you the benefit of the doubt, even though in my gut, I was like, Ugh, gosh. Why would you leave your child behind, okay, for a man you don't even know? But, you know, a little bit of me try to give you the benefit of the doubt. After this episode, I'm like, no, 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 no. You're a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I hate to say this, but you are. You really are, and, and my head's going to explode. Okay, so basically... Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to do that. It's been a month. They both work now. Okay. And they're realizing that it, it's hard, you know, working, adulting, not making a lot of money. It's hard. Between their two salaries, they just make enough money to pay the bills. They barely have enough money to eat. Okay. So now we see them going food shopping and she's trying to budget shop. And honestly, was it just me or did they have a whole cart full of groceries that she only paid $50 for? I was like, what in the hell? In New York, all that stuff that she got, like all those bags would have cost me at least two to 300 bucks. And it's like she paid 50 bucks. And Michael was still complaining that, that he thought that they spent a lot of money. And she's like, no, we did really good. So, okay. Conflicting work schedules mean that they don't see each other a lot, okay? So they try to make a concerted effort to see each other, and he wants to get married ASAP, okay? The only issue is, now hold on to your seat, guys. Aaron is still married. Yeah, she's still legally married to her ex. I was like, what the fuck? 
what is happening? What is happening? So that's another huge obstacle. She needs to get divorced and divorces cost money. So we could be engaged, but um, I can't marry you just yet, Michael. You know this. We've had this discussion. So she feels like a Debbie Downer she, when she has to remind him that she's married. Um, Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Then we see in next week's preview that um, the stresses of everyday life, Michael has relapsed. Okay. And she's like, well, her stuff would go on the phone with her friend. And I'm just like, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay. Moving on. Prison Brides cast updates. Savea with her horse. Her daughter prepared a cute little Valentine's Day gift. I love it. Okay. She's looking great. There's this great thing with bananas and, and strawberries and chocolate. Oh my God, it looks fucking delicious. But uh, Joseph, okay, he gives us an update of what's going on in his life. Let me play that for you guys. But I'm going to tell you another thing that bothers me about the Joseph Surveyor storyline. Okay, after I play this update from Joseph, give me a second. What's up? Make this quick video because I'm going through a lot right now. And the reason why I'm going through a lot is because I won't settle. And one thing that a lot of people don't tell you enough about the journey is that when you start to demand a certain level of respect for yourself, you gotta live without people that you care about. And the worst part about that is the people you care about will drag you down. And I don't mean physically, I mean emotionally. That is the truth sometimes, unfortunately. And it hurts. And you have to develop the strength within yourself to walk away from these people. I agree. Family, friends, co-workers. Walk away from the people who, you, who are not on the same page. Abandon the people who are not on the same page. I second that. It's hard. It hurts. It's lonely. But you will never, you will never get to where you want to go if you are surrounded by people who don't want to go anywhere. Remember that. You will never get to where you want to go if you surround yourself with people who don't want to go anywhere. I agree. So that is an update from Joseph from his TikTok. But the one thing that I, I was thinking about it and I saw a comment about it, okay? Um, did Savannah do her research about Joseph being able to get a visa? Okay, because she is a felon that served 11 years in jail for a serious offense, okay? So I decided to do a little Google search and basically... To make a long story short, if you have minor offenses on 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 your you know on your background check, it should be okay, depending on what the minor offense was. But if you have something that they call a major offense, okay, and a major offense is basically um, if if you've had a minimum of two years in prison for drug offenses or served more than two years in prison at your home, okay, um, most likely you won't be granted permission to come into the country, okay? 
So um, I'm wondering if Savea did her research or I, I don't know. I'm like, hmm, hmm. So yeah, okay. Like you see here, it says, for serious offenses, it is strongly advisable to avail of legal assistance. Without legal representation, your chances of gaining a German residence permit are greatly reduced. Okay, so if Joseph was really serious about moving to Germany, not only does he have to maintain his job to maintain his apartment, to pay his bills, but he would have to re most likely retain the help of an attorney to get a visa to go move there to be with you because you're definitely not moving here. Okay, so like I said, I feel like their relationship is going to implode any second. We have um, Andrea who is waiting to go marry her man, Cage, and their um, officiant, Wendy, Okay, who's like, oh, was that you on Prison Pride? Oh, yes, it was. Now, Andrea, she has a picture of herself without makeup. She's like, um, I just I just like makeup. I don't have issues not wearing makeup. I just don't I just like makeup. And she shares a prison art from Cage. Okay. 